All right, number five, we have, we want to find F intersect D union E. Okay, we want to find F intersect D union E. Okay, so we're going to start with the parentheses set first, so D union E basically means we're going to be adding these two sets together listing each element only once okay so F I'm going to write down that set which is 7 9 10 11 and 13 Okay, so this is the set F7, 9, 10, 11, 13. All right, I want to intersect that, find out what it has in common with D union E. So let's find D union E. We're going to add these two sets together. So D union E, um, looking at D and E, we have an 8. And it doesn't matter if they have it in common or not. We're just adding them and listing all the elements that appear in either D or E or both. So they have an 8 listed. That's the smallest element. Uh, we have a 10. No 9. We have 11. It's present in one or the other. We have a 12 present in one or the other. And we have 13. Okay, so let's just check. So in D... I'm looking at the computer. In D, we have 8, 11, and 13. So let's make sure we have 8, 11, and 13 in here. Okay. And then 8, 10, 11, 12. So we have 8, 10, 11, and 12. So every element is represented. So D union E is represented by this combined set right here. Now, intersection wants to know what do they have in common. Okay, so what does this set have in common with this set? Looking here, they do not have 7, 8, or 9 in common. They have 10, they both have 11, and they both have 13. Okay, so your final answer is going to be the set consisting of 10, 11, and 13. Okay, you got to be very careful with these sets. Union means connect them, combine them together. This intersect means what do they have in common that overlap. So just 10, 11, and 13. All right, now we want to look at number six, and we have Set A, B, C, and the universal set, you want to find the set A, take away the elements that are in set B using the listing method. Okay, so I'm going to show you just a couple of ways. So I'm going to list A here first. So A is the set 0, 2, 3, 7. And B is the set two, three, six. Okay, so what does this A minus B mean? It means you're going to take the set A and get rid of the elements that are in B that are also in A. So if I'm looking at A, what is also in B. B is 2, 4, and 6. So I got to get rid of the 2. Sorry. I got to get rid of 2, 3. There's no 6 here, so I cannot get rid of that. So A minus B is just the set 0, 7. That's what's left in A once you get rid of B. Alright, what would this look like if we did a Venn diagram? Okay. So I'm going to draw this out with a Venn diagram. We have this set A, we have this set B, um, <clears throat> what 
is in both A and B, 2 and 3. So I'll start in the middle, 2 and 3. 6 would be over here, 0 and 7. So I would shade A, but I would not shade the B part. So I would shade only the circle A that does not overlap with B. So that means all of these elements in this part of A, but not these elements in B. So it's like A minus B, getting rid of that, and we still see just the elements 0 and 7. Um, but all of A would consist of 0, 7, 2, and 3. But since we're subtracting off the B part, we're just covering that up and focusing on the A part that is not connected with B. Okay, so just 0 and 7.